to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle. And in this week's video, I'm doing a home tour of my downstairs area. So Colin and I moved into our home almost a year ago and it has been a very slow process in getting furniture for this new home. It's a lot larger than our last home. So we are taking our time in decorating and investing in quality pieces for this house. As you guys know, little by little, when it comes to decorating, I've done my fair share of purchasing items because they were a good deal or it was a clearance item and then having full-blown buyer's remorse when purchasing these items and then having to resell them because I just didn't really think it through. So I'm gonna show you guys my kitchen, my dining and my living room area and a couple other areas down here. And a lot of it is from Restoration Hardware. Now in our last home, I sold almost all of our furniture. And when I was selling our furniture, Colin and I have this jar that we actually keep in our pantry of of money so if we have spare change whether it's a couple dollars or if i sell something i throw money in this jar so when we moved into this house we had quite a bit of spending to purchase new items for this house so i definitely recommend that for any of you guys i'm looking to save so anytime i sell something or like i said if i have a couple extra bucks i just throw it in this jar and then that just builds and is allowing me to purchase new furniture for our house so we purchased a bunch of stuff from restoration but i've also included a lot of inexpensive items I think you can absolutely mix high quality pieces with low quality pieces and make it be a cohesive, beautiful, decorated space. And I feel like I've, I've done that a lot. So I'm just gonna show you guys that. And then I'm also going to leave you guys not only the links for the restoration items, if you are interested in that, but I'm also going to do some dupes for you guys. This has been a very highly requested video as far as linking dupes for you guys. And I've honestly have spent hours hours of research trying to find similar inexpensive items for you guys so make sure to check that out below and yeah that is going to be this week's video i hope you guys enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe make sure to hit that bell button for every time i upload a video and as always i love you guys i'll see you in my next video peace all right you guys so we're going to start with my kitchen so starting with the pendant lines right behind me these are from a company called Rejuvenation. And if you guys are unfamiliar with Rejuvenation, they specialize in lighting. That's kind of like what they're known for, but they have a bunch of other things from furniture to hardware accessories. So make sure to check them out. And these are a 24 inch matte black cone with gold at the top. I love how they look in my kitchen. I think it's very chic. It's kind of farmhousey, but it's, I don't know. I just, I really like how they kind of pulled through with my kitchen. And with another little backstory, as our home is a track home, everything that they put into track homes are typically, one, not the best quality, and two, the selections that were in here were not selections that I could pick, so I decided to change everything. So all the hardware you guys see, I changed that out, and I ended up changing our faucet as well. So everything is matte black. So the bar stools I got from homedepot.com. Now, I did talk about these in a previous video, but I originally found these on... Uh, Target, target.com, and they were priced at like $280 a chair. And if you guys have the patience, get an item number or get the company and do your research. So I ended up finding these on homedepot.com for almost $100 cheaper, and they were the same exact chair that I saw on Target. So they're really cool. They are by a company called Save or SAF. I know you guys have heard of them before, but I will make sure to link everything down below. They are awesome. Black cushion and like a wickering back. I just thought they were really cool. So that is my bar stools. Again, the pendant lights are from a company called Rejuvenation. I'm drinking my bang while I uh, talk to you guys. All right, starting in this corner, I have my Vitruvi diffuser. I always constantly have my diffuser going. It's in the matte black color. And then I have my KitchenAid mixer which I'm in love with. This was a special edition from William Sonoma. If they still have it, I'm gonna make sure to link down below for you guys. And then I have my cookbook by Magnolia Home. I do actually use this. I try to get creative with my meals at night and I have definitely gone to this for plenty of recipe ideas. Moving over to my stove. Now I got this concrete tray from Home Goods. It gave me very much restoration hardware vibes. I liked the raw cut on the end and it's, I mean, it's a solid concrete slab, but I use it to kind of house all of my cooking essentials. 
I have all of my, you know, wooden spoons. I have my olive oil and vinegar, my pepper, and then I got this salt tray from Target as well. And then coming into my stove, I have my layered cutting boards. Now the marble cutting board is from Target.com, as well as the wooden one behind it. The black one I got from Home Goods. I didn't like the color, so I ended up sanding it down and painting it black. That is my home scheme in a nutshell. Moving over here, I have my my spoon rest, which I got from Home Goods, I think for like seven dollars, and my knives, and of course my little my little toaster, which. I love. And then coming over here onto my island. This tray is by uh, Tommy Bahama. I got this also from Home Goods. The black and white vase behind it, that is from Home Goods as well. And the marble tray I got on Amazon as well as my selenite sticks and my sage. I'm all about good vibes, good energy in my house, and I have these constantly trickled around my house to remind me to be positive and to stay positive. You guys are not gonna believe what this is. So we use these as coasters but they are actually the lids of the Bath and Body Works candles. Isn't that crazy? So <laughs> we use those as coasters here in the kitchen, and then I try to have always, always, always fresh greens. Now, if you can't get to the flower shop, I constantly will get fresh greens. Even if I see them on the side of the road, I pick them off. Isn't that crazy? So, yep, that's what I have right there. And then I have my all-purpose spray and my dish soap. This is a new, rather new line from Magnolia Home. I got this from Target. You guys have to get this particular scent, number four. I am obsessed. Like, the smell is so good. I can't even explain it to you, but it smells so good, especially the counter spray. And I'm all about aesthetics. That's why I was just drawn to it. It's very simplistic. It's got the kind of amber kind of faux glass look, but yeah, if you guys are aesthetically into stuff like that, make sure to check out this uh, line. All right, so the next place is the vignette that I usually do all of my intros in. So this is just an extension of our kitchen. One thing really cool with our downstairs portion is it is just one big room. You have your kitchen that's right behind us, our dining room area, and then our living room, it, so it just feels super open. And then we have this extremely large, big accordion glassed slider to our outdoor patio. So it just feels super open. We have a ton of windows in here. So that was kind of what sold us on this particular model, is just the spaciousness and the openness of it. Starting with this vignette, this awesome four drawer sideboard is from Restoration Hardware. I'm going to try to link a close alternative for this. The wings are from Z Gallery. This was kind of the one of the last pieces that I decided to hold on to. I, they do kind of give me Restoration Hardware vibes just because it seems kind of like statue-esque. And I don't know why, I just gravitated towards them. They just they just seem really uh, beautiful to me. So I ended up keeping this. Um, again, Z Gallery, I'm not sure if they have them still, but you guys could always try checking online uh, for this. Moving into my coffee table books, I have the infamous Tom Ford coffee table book the Louis Vuitton coffee table book and the Chanel. And then another thing that I do, which is going to be a little tip for you guys. So Restoration Hardware gives these catalogs out for free. And if you guys are unaware of their catalogs, they're like art. They, they look like a coffee table book, they are so thick. So I've actually snagged a couple of these and I will use them as layering pieces within my coffee table books to give height and thickness. So. Little tip for you guys if you are buying restoration hardware. And then on top of my coffee table books, I have my room spray, I have a little room diffuser, and I have another sage stick, and then another one of those marble trays that I got on Amazon.com, which I will link for you guys. And then moving over to this side, I have my gigantic geo crystal. Now I got this from Home Goods, and when I found it, I was like, Holy wow, I have to have this because like look at the size of this. It's got to be 30 pounds. Very, very Restoration Hardware. This is no new news. You guys know that Restoration Hardware is known for their beautiful crystals that they have on their coffee tables, their sideboards. So when I saw this, I had to buy it. And I think I bought it for like 70 or $80. It was ridiculous. So snagged this from Home Goods. And I also got this orchid from Home Goods as well. It gave me restoration vibes as well, based on the container that it was in. And restoration also does a lot of those really big, elaborate orchid arrangements, and they actually sell them on their website as well. So I've snagged that up from Home Goods. And then moving into what's on the wall, the mirror is from Restoration Hardware. Now I know you can get mirrors 
practically everywhere. They're, they're, they're a no-brainer. I had to go to restoration because there was a very particular size and dimensions that I needed for this space. All right, it's a 36 by 48 mirror. Black frame and it just got billets around it. Artwork on the side, fun fact, I painted them. So this is very much a restoration hardware inspired moment. You guys know that restoration is kind of known for that mirror in the center and then they'll do pictures around it. That's kind of like one of, of restoration hardware staple like moments. So I recreated that and instead of spending money on something that I can easily paint, I went to Michael's, I grabbed some acrylic paint and some paper and just did some artwork. So that is this moment. hardware it is a honed Carrera marble top with a dark wooden base that matches the sideboard and the table back table behind me which I will zoom up on I'll make sure to link this particular table for you guys everything that I have purchased from restoration hardware is always by the outlet I've never purchased full price and to be honest, I probably would never purchase at full price because even at the outlet, it's still expensive. So I knew I wanted a round table for this space. We had done a rectangular table and for whatever reason, it just was not, it wasn't working. So we, we found this round inch table. This is a 60 inch round. And then I paired it with these chairs by Lulu in Georgia. And I'll make sure to zoom in on them. But they are a woven kind of ivory off white cushion with again the dark wood to tie in all of my other elements so we keep it pretty simplistic here i'd like to do some sort of decor on the table but for right now it's just plain so that is my dining area <music> probably very familiar with this area this is the room that we did our fireplace in if you guys haven't seen that video I just linked a video about two weeks ago on this fireplace that we just had built so starting with this table this is by restoration hardware this is their reclaimed Russian oak line which I love it's very farmhousey I mean it's solid 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 wood it is in the same dark brown as the other pieces of furniture I have and then I, to be honest, I'm not 100% done with decorating this table, so it's very minimal right now. But this tray I got on Etsy. I'll make sure to zoom up. It's kind of like a reclaimed tray. I have my candles and all of our remotes in here. And then coming over here, I have some vessels. This is from Pottery Barn. And then I got this vessel from Restoration Hardware, which you guys will recognize. And then I just have a photo of my family in a marble frame. That's this table, and then I'll take you guys into the living room. Here is the overview of our living room, and I'll go one by one of where everything is from. So starting with the chair in this corner, this is from Living Spaces. This was a custom order. As you guys know, Living Spaces has like a thousand different fabrics and whatnot to choose from. So I did this in a black velvet, and it is a swivel chair, which is nice for those who want to relax and just sit in the corner and mingle. 
So that is that. And then obviously you guys know our fireplace we just made. Forgot to tell you guys, the one thing that we are doing to this is I'm having a reclaimed wood mantle made to kind of tie in our beams. So that's not 100% finished, but that's the next step for that guy. Moving on to our rug. So this rug is from Rugs USA. It's, I love this rug, honestly, for the price too. It's uh, an oriental rug. The colors in it are white, ivory, and kind of a dark gray as far as like the outlining of the texture. So I'll make sure to link that. Our coffee table is from Restoration Hardware. It is a 60 inch solid piece of marble. This thing weighs 500 pounds. It actually took four gentlemen to get it into my house. Luckily it is on wheels so you can move it, but it's heavy as you know what. Our couch, we get asked a bunch of questions on our couch. This is actually from Living Spaces. It I think is their Nate and Jeremiah or Nate and Burkus. I don't know, one of their like special lines that they feature at Living Spaces. This is their couch. My pillows, all of my pillows are from Home Goods. I get all of those type of elements from Home Goods because they're awesome, even my little throw blanket. My gallery wall, so fun fact for you guys, Every single photo you see up here was taken by my mom. So my mom is a photographer and I've been so blessed to have her being able to capture every single amazing moment in my life from engagement to maternity to wedding to, I mean, everything. So I put together this beautiful gallery wall of special moments and I love it. My beautiful olive tree, as you guys know, is from Restoration Hardware. I got this one because now I have a total of two of these. I got this one on a Black Friday sale, so at the Restoration Hardware outlet. So I snagged this one up first. The pot that it's in is from Crate and Barrel, just kind of a matte black sphere. And then our beautiful chandelier is from Restoration Hardware as well. Moving into the dining room. Now this is going to be a room I'm constantly gonna be messing with and changing things, but I recently changed my chairs. I had some Durant chairs, that's the name of them, by Restoration Hardware, and they were just, they weren't going. So I sold those and I bought these instead. These are kind of their, I guess, infamous chairs. They're on rollers, just basic white. Just super simple, super chic. They sit low, which is nice. My dining room table is from Restoration Hardware as well. This is their, again, their reclaimed Russian oak dining room table. It matches the table that we already discussed. And the cabinet is from Restoration Hardware as well. The chandelier is from Restoration Hardware. Pot up there that you see on top is from Restoration Hardware. And then all of the decor pieces that I've put in here are from a mixture of places from Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon, from all over the place. So again, kind of mixing cheap items with uh, nice items. And then the artwork is from Home Goods. It's actually the same print, I just decided to flip one upside down. So again, kind of restoration hardware vibes as far as like abstract artwork. And uh, yeah, so that is this room. <music> to my entryway. So this has actually changed since my last video. I had done an entry styling video and I actually sold the table because I was not happy with it. So this is the Thaddeus table from Restoration Hardware. It is a 60 inch wide table with forged brass and white Carrera marble top. I am absolutely obsessed but this is the newest piece that I have purchased from Restoration. So I have that as my entry table. This is a 48 inch round mirror. I believe I got this from Crate and Barrel or CB2, one of those I'll link below. I got this pot, this little vessel from Home Depot. I got these from Hobby Lobby. The black crystal is from Restoration Hardware. This is a super rare color. This is a black onyx crystal that I was super excited when I found it. It did come through the outlet, so I snagged it. I have a mixture of geodes. I got some of these from Home Goods, and then I actually, I'm gonna link this below. I found a guy 
where you can buy a bag of these stones and then you crack them open yourself and that's what it looks like inside. So I got that on Amazon, which I will make sure to link for you guys. The black bowl is from Target and then my Architectural Digest book and Marc Jacobs are both from Home Goods, I believe. And I picked up this equestrian wooden figurine from Home Goods as well. But that is my entry table. <music> for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of an insider on our home and the rooms that I have decorated here and maybe you guys got some inspo from taking some restoration hardware inspo and, and putting it into my house. Uh, even with just the decor items, you know, you don't always have to have restoration hardware decor. You can mix and match. I, I thrive on this, this kind of rule of thumb. You can, you can seriously decorate and design any space by using inexpensive with expensive to make such a beautiful home. So I hope you guys got some inspo from my house and how I decorate. So yeah, love you guys and we'll see you in my next video. Peace.